Bashir appeared visibly resigned in contrast to his usual upbeat rhetoric in a visit seen as a farewell to the South and to the title of Africa's largest country by area. Unity is for the benefit of both the people of the North and people of the South. We are committed and we abide by all the agreements we concluded. However, we remain committed to unity simply for the reason that unity it means progress, stability and welfare of all the people of the Sudan. There have been fears that the referendum could lead to a return to war, but Bashir said he would join in the South's independence celebrations. If secession is the end result, we will come and congratulate and celebrate with you. We will be with you, supporting you. Bashir later held talks with Kir at the presidency on key post-referendum issues that both leaders have committed to negotiate within six months of the vote. These include future citizenship arrangements, security, and the share out of oil, wealth, and debt. They must also forge a consensus on border demarcation, with around 20% of the north-south border yet to be agreed on. The Sudanese president last week pledged to help build a secure, stable, and brotherly state in the south if it votes for independence in a speech delivered in northern Gezira state. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Almost 4 million southerners are registered to participate in the referendum, which will give them the chance to vote on whether to remain united with the North or secede. Voting is due to start on Sunday and last for a week.